In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up and optimize a Google Plus account. First thing to do is to come to the Google Plus site. Uh, it's quite a long URL here but if you type in plus.google.com you'll be redirected straight to this site. Okay, you sign in using your Google account. If you have a Gmail account or anything like that, you're automatically a member of Google Plus. All you have to do is sign in, so I'll just do that now. And then click on sign in. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is to set up your profile. So we click here under my name and you can see it doesn't have anything in here at the moment because it's brand new and you can put in all sorts of information like your photo, brief description, your employment, what school you went to and so on and it's very easy to do for example if you want to change the photo you just simply click on here it says change photo and then you can either upload a photo from your computer you can take a picture with your webcam and so on so let's just do that I'm going to upload a picture from my computer so click here where it says select a photo from your computer and here's the picture I'm going to upload sam01.jpg so click on open you can see it's uploading and this picture is a bit big for the size that they have available so I'm going to have to crop it which I can do by simply moving this window around with the mouse and that looks about right so then just simply click here set as profile photo and it says post about your new photo. Well I haven't actually set up any circles or people to share it with yet so I'm just going to click on cancel. Now I can have the settings here can be changed as to who you want the photograph to be shared with. At the moment I'm going to set it here at the default setting with anyone on the web. Now we can add a tagline that's a brief description of me. There we go. And again, I'm going to share it with anyone on the web because I haven't got any circles set up yet. And I can fill in all sorts of information here about who I work for and what school I went to and so on. I'm just going to leave this blank for the time being. And then I can click here, continue to my profile. So we'll pick there. And there we go. there's my main profile. Now what I can do is set up my circles. I can click here to change who's visible here. Circles are going to be people who you have various connections with. Now they could be people who are in your Gmail address book if they're members of Google+. Plus. Uh, they can be people that you can invite or they can be people who can contact you and ask to be added. So show people in all circles. You can have either friends, family, acquaintances or people who are following you. I'm going to leave it at the default setting of all circles. And who can see this? It can be anyone on the web or it can be just people who you've already added to your circle. So I'm going to click there just on your circles and have you in circles you can show people who have added you to their circle so we can click here on save and there we go now you can also put some more information here you can have an introduction about you uh, your bragging rights occupation education places where you've lived and this will tie into Google Maps you can have your home and work contact details if you're in a relationship you can put that in there uh, if you're looking for someone who might be a member if you say click on here let's say you're looking for 
a friend or dating or a relationship or for networking you can put all that information in there as well if you've got a nickname you can enter it and you can also have what they call profile discovery which is where you can set it up to help other people who are members of Google Plus find your profile in the search results I'll just put some information here. I'm just going to pause the video while I do this. And there we go, there's some information put in. Uh, you don't have to fill in every single item if you don't want to. Uh, for example, I don't really want to put bragging rights, so I've left that alone. Um, you can also, for example, if I click here on Home, you can enter information like your home phone number, email address, etc. And you can decide who you want to share it with. You can just have people in your circles or it can be only you or anybody on the web and so on. I'm actually going to leave this one blank for the time being. and you can have the profile discovery again it says profile visible in search so when people try and search for you on Google Plus they'll get your profile but if you want you can uncheck that okay that's done so I'm going to say finished editing and there we go Okay, the next thing you want to do is to select your circles. So we click here. And there's nobody in my circles, so I can click on this link to find people that you may know, or I can click on this link to see who's already added me, even though I have only just joined Google+. Some people who are already members may have added me to their circles even though I hadn't joined Google Plus up until now but Google Plus will have kept a record of that and so I can find who those people are and add them to my circles. When you click on find people it will find people from various sources you can either import contacts from your Gmail contacts book you can import contacts from an uploaded address book file, you can find people from Yahoo, you can find people from Facebook and so on. Okay here are a few contacts that I have and what I can do is simply drag them into the various circles that I want to have. So for example my friend Peter, he's uh, not a member of Google Plus yet, but I could still draw him into this circle here of friends. And as you can see here, it tells you what happens when you add someone to a circle. And there we go. Let me say, OK, got it. And you can see that Peter has been added to my list of friends and let's say I want to add uh, Jonathan Dale to my list of acquaintances See, and then he's been to my acquaintances circle and you can see it does give you some prompts about what these various circles are if I want to upload an address book then I can simply do that by clicking on this link here and I can import it as a CSV file so let's say I want to import this one google.csv I can click here on open and you can see it's telling me that two are already in my circles but I can then simply drag the other people to the circles so I can move my dad into family and Angela as well and so on and when that's all done I can go back to my home page and you can see we've got the different streams that I can have. Now let's say there are things that I want to share just with my 
friends I can click here on the friends stream and it says nothing shared so far here well I can share something that's new I can send a message I can upload a picture or photograph I can add a video or a link or I can add a location just by simply entering it in here. So let's say I want to add a video I can click here I can upload a video from my hard drive I can upload a video from YouTube I can upload a video from my phone. Let's say I want to upload a video from YouTube and let's just uh, choose the YouTube video I can either enter the URL or I can go to my own YouTube videos. So let's just uh, do a search in YouTube. Let's say I want to find some Highland dancing. And click on search. And there we go, there's one. Let's say I want to add this one. Let's click on this link here click on add video and there we go that's now in my friends stream so I can click on share and that will share that with my contact and they'll receive an email with my content and I can do the same with my family or acquaintances and with people that I'm following as well there's also some games that you can play in Google Plus. You've got the featured online games here. At the moment it's Dragons of Atlantis is the ones that they're featuring. But you also have things like Ginga Poker and so on. You really need broadband to play these games properly. And you can also share your photos on here so you can uh, see photos from your friends and you can share them with people in your circles and then anytime you want to get back to the main Google Plus site just simply click here on the logo so there you go that's how you can set up and optimize a Google Plus account